NVIDIA, what in the name of Jensen Huang's leather jacket is this? Here we are, all expecting a brand new RTX 3000 Crux card, and instead you give us something that looks like it's straight out of Wish.com. Just why? So, if you've missed NVIDIA's stellar announcement, and by stellar I mean so stellar that even half the media missed it, NVIDIA are releasing a new graphics card. But is it the RTX 3080 Ti we're all waiting for? No. No, no, no. It's the Pascal-based GeForce GT 1010. Okay? What is it? Why on earth does it have to exist, I hear you asking yourself? And is there any point in anyone buying it, or should they support you on Patreon instead? Link to it is going to be down in the description below. Well, let's go over it, exactly. So, the GeForce GT 1010, apart from having a name that sounds more like someone with a speech impediment trying to speech-to-text Ben 10, is a brand new graphics card from NVIDIA based on the Pascal architecture, which powered the 10 series of graphics cards, which people remember rather fondly, it was a pretty good generation with a pretty good architecture. And as you can expect from the name, it's not exactly a uh, high-end, like, at all. Not even for a 10 series card. It has a whopping 256 scooter cores, 2GB of GDR5 memory, and a boost clock of up to 1468 MHz. Which, okay, I'll give it that. The boost clock is pretty okay for such a graphics card, but why on earth would they be releasing a graphics card that could probably be easily outdone by some super advanced APUs that are currently around. Well, it all starts making sense when you realise that this isn't NVIDIA's first rodeo with a 10 tier card. Because if you're lucky enough to be old enough to remember the Kepler architecture, you may remember a graphics card called the GT710, a super budget graphics card which didn't even use GDDR memory, it used standard DDR, like what you'd find on normal RAM. So the GT1010 is supposed to be a direct replacement for that. So now, thankfully, Nvidia has a 10 tier graphics card that won't get completely destroyed by even a 3DS. So what on earth is the point of these graphics cards in a world where APUs, so CPUs and GPUs combined on a single chip that sits on your motherboard, in a world where those are getting so advanced and so good, why on earth cards like these even exist? Especially seeing how many people in the tech media have been warning people against buying super budget graphics cards like the GT1030, because they are just simply not worth the price for the pitiful amount of performance you gain over just a really decent APU, or just investing that bit more to get yourself a better graphics card. One that at least has an X at the end, and not just GT. So, as can probably tell, it's a very niche product, mainly aimed for people who just really need any kind of graphical acceleration, for which getting a better APU or a better graphics card is simply not an option for one reason or another. So, yeah, very niche product. And it's not really a graphics card update, because unless you're running something like a GT710, you can't really get many graphics cards worse than it. It's more of an upgrade to just your standard onboard graphics. But even then, with the rate that onboard graphics are accelerating at, well, it's even then, it doesn't leave too many people who this product is for. Maybe if you're running like an Athlon or a Pentium, that could be a good choice. And by the way, I mean new Athlon and like new Pentium. I'm not talking about the older, cooler Athlons and Pentiums. Because yeah, if you're running a Pentium 3, the GT1010 would definitely be an upgrade. Though, um, I, 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 something tells me they're not gonna be compatible, you know? So would it be worth the money or will your money be better spent over on my Patreon linked in the video description below? Wink, wink. I can't wink, so I just said it audibly. Well, depends on the price. We don't know the price yet, but anything over $50 I feel will be an absolute ripoff. So it all depends on how Nvidia price these cards. And seeing how they probably have a lot of spare Pascal based chips still lying around, this could be a great way to reuse them and finally sell them after so long. And seeing how companies like AMD and Apple are currently using up a lot of TSMC's, you know, 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer process, it leaves the older processes, well, kind of useless. So maybe. Nvidia was able to strike a deal to get a whole bunch of older Pascal chips made for a super low price. That could be a thing as well. Or they could just have a lot left over from cars like a GT1030. But whatever the reason, there's still every curious curiosity that I would love to actually review or play around with on this channel. So hey, again, Patreon's a thing. Even one dollar month is long way in helping me afford cars like the GT1010 so I can make fun and cool videos about it 
on this channel. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's coming down in the video description below. It really does go a long way. So I highly recommend you check it out. I'd also love to thank my Patreons, Gavin Burns, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Ryan, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. It really does help. And if you don't want to give on Patreon, that's fine. That's fine. We also have Amazon Associates links. If you plan to buy anything from Amazon, you can use those. They're going to be down in the video description below. They're probably going to link down to some nice motherboards so you can pair up with your <laughs> GT1010 if you're going for that. And also, I'm going to have our Discord link down there as well if you want to join it and talk about this or whatever else really with me or anyone else in the awesome community. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in Wadaramic next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.